mainstream media for years, like the BBC and the newspapers and, and radio stations back in the 70s and 80s. And um, it, it was always corrupt. But you look at this global media coordinated lying on a scale that I don't think we've ever seen before. Uh, and so that's a trait in this eco. This ability or feeling it's okay to lie by, by the minute and the hour in terms of the global media um, to what? To promote the agendas of the psychopaths, the super Watiko. And then you, you come down to the general population and um, you've got this great number of people who have lost the ability, if they ever had it, to process information into a conclusion. See, what, what people in control of their own minds do is they take information and they filter it and process it into a conclusion. What great chunks of the population do today is take the information as a conclusion. So when the governments make a statement or the media say, this is what's going on, then that is not information to be processed. That is a conclusion to be absorbed. And you'll see this, we see it all the time, where um, someone will say, I, I'll tell you what I think is going on. This is my opinion. And what comes out of their mouth is the official story, almost word for word, which they have processed um, into the uh, illusion of their own opinion and their own uh, conclusion. Now, th these, are, these are all traits of Wutiko. And how does this work? Wutiko is, um, uh, uh, this is all part of how do we get handy. Wutiko is a band of frequency. It's a very low, dense band of frequency, which resonates to the frequencies of fear and all the emotional, low vibration emotional uh, states around fear, anxiety, depression, resentment, all these um, low vibrational emotional states. Every thought and every emotion that we, we feel and we, we think goes out as a frequency. You know, fear is a, a, a dense, low, slow frequency. When people are in fear and anxiety, they say, oh, I feel so heavy today. Yes, because that's what uh, uh, those low, slow frequencies do to your energetic field. When, when people feel joy and love, they say, oh, I feel so light today. Yeah, because they're fast frequencies and fast wavelengths. So therefore, they impact upon your field in a completely different way. So uh, the, the, the point of what he is to draw human consciousness into low vibrational states so that that attachment, that assimilation can take place. And once it does, and the COVID era has, of course, created enormous amounts of fear and trauma with relation to it. I mean, the trauma that this COVID era has created you know, people, people just screaming if someone gets too close to them in a supermarket aisle. Watiko is not going to influence those that it attaches to, to make them think about questioning anything, about questioning what they're told. That's the last thing it wants. So people simply stop processing information. They become like a software program. They just take downloads from statements and, and what have you, and it becomes their reality. So.